for them. That's right. Read what you got, brother. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Read. Yahweh shall mark you the same yesterday and today and forever. Be the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's what the Bible is saying. He ain't never changed. He ain't never came and, and changed nothing in his Bible. He ain't never came and changed the way that he was teaching. He ain't never changed from who his father sent him for. That's right. He ain't never changed from the ways of his father. He ain't never changed. Tell it. To tell you a lie. He stayed on course on everything that he has ever said. It was the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he has never changed. But white supremacy has changed. You got one God. One God. A thousand Bibles. And four thousand doctrines. That's right. Somebody is lying. And we know that it's a white man that has lied and lied and lied. And they still lying today. Read, brother. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. Read what the Bible say, brother. And he that saith a man. Doing slavery. Who sold us? The so-called Africans. That's right. And the so-called Arabs. They sold us to the white man for guns and wine. That's right. Read that scripture from the beginning, brother. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. Uh-huh. And he that selleth a man. He that selleth a man. And and selleth him. Or if he be found in his hand. And if that man be found in your hands. Read. He shall surely be put to death. You're going to be put to death. You Africans. You Arabs. You white men. You're going to be put to death for what you did, the atrocities that you did to God's people. That's right. That's what the Bible say. And we don't care who don't like it. We bringing out the word of the Most High God. That's what we're doing. We're coming out here telling you this truth. We're not coming out here lying. We're not coming out here talking out our own head. We're not coming out here saying the things that we want to say. We're coming out here saying what the Bible says. That's what we're coming out here saying. Read what you got, brother. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Read what the Bible says, brother. Beware lest any man spoil you. Don't let no man spoil you, read. Through philosophy. Through what? Philosophy. Through philosophies. And vain deceit. And lying, lying deceit. Vain deceit. Let, don't let them stop lying to you, read. After the tradition of man. After the tradition of who? Of man. Read. After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Mamakia. And not after God. Don't worry about trying to be like the rest of the world. Because you're going to end up going to the same place that the rest of the world is going. That's right. That is to the lake of fire. That is to the bottomless pit. That is some place where you cannot get no redemption. You will pay a recompense. Just like everybody else, if you don't start complying to the word of the Most High God. That's what this Bible is saying. That's right. It ain't saying nothing else. Read what you got, brother. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Read, brother. Can two walk together? Can what? Can two walk together? Start at verse 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. The Bible says, hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you. 
Oh, children of Israel. Against the whole family. Against the whole family. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. From the land of Egypt, out of the hands of the Pharaoh, where I brought you up. I want you to hear this. Read. Saying. What did he say, brother? You only have I known. What did the Bible say? You only have I known. He said, you only have I known. Of all the families of the earth. Out of all the families of the earth, you only have I known. I don't know anyone else. I only know the Israelites. That's right. Out of all the families in the world, you only have I known. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, you are being punished for all of your iniquities. Because I ain't dealing with nobody else. You only have I known out of all the people on this earth. That's out of all the families on the earth. Therefore, I'm going to punish you for your iniquities. For your disobedience. That's right. Find your next one, brother. See, we got to know who it is that we belong to. We got to know that we belong to the Most High God. That He chose us. Out of all the families on the earth, He only chose us. He didn't choose everybody, like they tell you in them lying ass churches. That's right. He only chose you, brothers and sisters. Go ahead, brother. Galatians chapter 4 verse 16. Read what the Bible say, brother. Am I therefore become your enemy? See, when somebody tell you this truth, the question you got to ask them is that, did I become your enemy because I told you this truth? Read. Because I tell you the truth. Because I tell you this truth, now I'm your enemy. Read. They selfishly affect you, but not well. Yea, they were excluded you that ye might affect them. See, everybody, you've been excluded. Everybody want to exclude you. See, but when you tell somebody this truth, they could be your friend. But then when you start telling them this truth, they become your enemy. They don't like you when you start telling them this truth. When you know this truth, they don't like you. But long as you stay dumb and docile, oh, they love you. Because they can keep you on the bottom. But when they start, when you start to let them know that you know this truth, even your own people, even your own people will start hating you. That's right. Because you are preaching a doctrine that they are not familiar with. They are not familiar with the truth. They are only familiar with lies. That's right. Galatians chapter 4, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. Read what the Bible say, brother. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. The Bible say, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord my Yahweh commanded me. This is Moses talking. He said, I have taught you statutes and commandments. Even as the Most High God has what? Commanded me. Even as God has commanded me, I have taught you. That ye should do so in the land wherever ye go to possess it. Wherever the land is that you go to possess, you better start keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's what the Bible is saying. It's all about the commandments, brothers and sisters. It ain't about nothing else. Don't let anything else get your attention. It's only about what God says. Keep therefore and do them. He said, keep these commandments and do them. For this is your wisdom. For this is your what? Wisdom. For this is your wisdom. And your understanding. And your understanding. In the sight of the nations. In the sight of all the nations. Which... Which shall hear all these statues? Uh huh. And say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. That's the way they're supposed to be thinking and looking towards you, but now they're looking at you like you a fool. 
Because monkey see, monkey do. Whatever they do, so do you. But you got to change and separate yourself and be different. Because being an Israelite is totally different than being anybody else. That's right.